Hello everybody. Uh, before I start reading today I want to show you that Willow and Starburst wanted to listen to the story again today. So here's Starburst. She's all curled up on one side and over here is Willow. She's curled up on this side. So just so you know there's two other people listening with you. Or dogs. Our story today is called Happy in Our Skin. Now, Happy in Our Skin is full of rhythm and rhyme. The author said that this book is the happiest writing she's ever done. So hopefully you can notice that when you're listening to it today. Our author's name is Fran Manushkin. Now, something really cool is that this author grew up in Chicago, Illinois, which I know some of you are from. And she never even really knew that she'd grow up to be an author. So I wonder, maybe some of you don't realize that you'll be an author someday too. Our illustrator is Lauren Tobia. A fun fact is that for a while when she was little she lived on a boat. Um, I want you to be thinking when I'm reading the story to today, where do you fit in the story? Where do you see yourself? Now remember I told you the author had a lot of fun writing the story and she was really happy? She used a lot of really fun words. And I want to show you those words and then show you them in the story so that when you hear them you kind of know what they mean. She's going to describe a group of babies as bouquets of babies. That just means a group of babies. She's going to use the word delightful. Now delightful can mean like it's pleasing or enjoyable. She also uses this word, hullabaloo. Hullabaloo, maybe that's happening at your house. It means it's kind of loud or there's a lot of mixtures of noises going all together. Boisterous means rowdy. So she's going to describe something as rowdy. And brawny, brawny is kind of muscular, lots of muscles. I'm going to show you in the book where she uses those words or phrases. So I have them all marked. So right here is where she talks about bouquets of babies. So watch for that when I get there. That just means a group of babies. The next word that she used was that word delightful. And she's telling us about something that's really delightful for her to do in the story. That next word is the kind of that fun word to say, hullabaloo. So in the story, she talks about a hullabaloo with all of these people. And then over here, she also talks about where it's going to be boisterous, where we talked about it's going to be kind of rowdy. And over here, she's going to be comparing um, the people and that they are brawny, which means kind of muscular, and some are going to be thin. Let's go ahead and enjoy this delightful story, Happy in Our Skin. Remember, look and see where you are in this story. Happy in our skin. Here's the title page. Look at you. You look so cute in your brand new birthday suit. This is how we all begin small and happy in our skin. Bouquets of babies sweet to hold, cocoa brown, cinnamon, and honey gold. Ginger colored babies, peaches and cream too. Splendid skin for me, splendid skin for you. It's terrific to have skin. It keeps the outsides out and your insides in. Did you ever think about that's what the skin does on your body? Pretty cool. As you keep growing your skin grows too. Clever skin for me, clever skin for you. Imagine if your skin didn't grow. Whoops! When you fall your skin will heal with a scab a perfect seal. I wonder if you've ever fallen and gotten a scab. Kind of seals everything back up, doesn't it? And then you get some new skin. Sometimes skin has freckles or birthmarks or dimples.
we get a tan when it's sunny and when it's freezing goose pimples it's delightful to hug and tickle and wrestle get a scratch when we itch and hold our hands and nestle skin covers us from head to toes it's always there beneath our clothes yes we all have skin but nobody is you you are one of a kind and your fingerprints too what a wonderful world such a hullabaloo with all of us in it see the splendid view bouquets of people blooming and boisterous brawny and thin loving each day happy in our skin I want you to take a good look at yourself and maybe people around you. What things do you do to show that you're happy in your skin?